on earth it. This incinerator produces so much pollution which will impact mostly ethnic minorities while simultaneously killing the earth. We're here to send a message today to the NLWA. Stop the Edmonton incinerator! Stop polluting our neighbourhood! so badly with COVID, with 40% over the national average in terms of COVID death rates, when we know that COVID is exacerbated by chronic exposure to air pollution. Deprived areas, black dominated or BIPOC dominated or poorer neighbourhoods are three times more likely to have an incinerator in their area. We are seeing strategic racism because it's detrimental to black people who live in these areas. We are much more likely to have bad health outcomes. Waltham Forest, immediately downwind from this incinerator, has the second worst air pollution of all local authorities in the country. The wards immediately downwind from the incinerator have unusually high infant mortality rates. are the board that are accountable for the expansion and operation of the incinerator. But they are completely adamant to build a project that will fail to meet our climate targets. There are 14 councillors from seven boroughs on the North London Waste Authority and they hold our future and our children's futures in their hands. The North London Waste Authority is mainly Labour. Six out of seven councils on that are Labour councils. Six of the seven councils have declared climate emergencies. And the Labour Party policy is against incineration and still they press ahead. I'm withholding £10 a month of my council tax from now on. My demand is that Waltham Forest Council withdraw some plans to build a new incinerator in Edmonton. Sadiq Khan, behind closed doors he says he's against the Edmonton incinerator, but he does not come up publicly and make a public statement for the people of Edmonton. And I say shame on you, Sadiq Khan. voices must be centred in the campaign for climate justice. Across the global south, countries where black and brown people are the majority, the disproportionate effects of climate change are being felt. Last year in Jamaica, you saw rivers of flood water 
taking away whole buildings. Vietnam, the Mekong Delta, will go as sea level rises. Half of Bangladesh is below sea level, it will go. It's the big corporations and the government that support them are responsible for those emissions. The climate crisis in Brazil underneath the Bolsonaro government is at an all-time high. The Amazon is disappearing right in front of our eyes. The Amazon is the lungs of the earth. <laughs> To young people, each day that approaches is one that is closer to the destruction of our future. We are watching our future literally unravel in front of our eyes and our planet burn and collapse. They call us young people inspirational for speaking out about the climate crisis. But I say how dare they when they continue to protect the corporation and industries that have drive us into a climate emergency in the first place. <laughs> Innovation in circular green waste management internationally is leaping forward at great speed. We could have so many more jobs in a reduce, repair, reuse, recycle, circular economy. <laughs> Friends, we are. This is why we're here. We can and we will stop the Edmund Turner incinerator when we all work together.